Linux, a powerful and versatile operating system, but will it run on your computer? That's the million dollar question we're here to answer today. Linux is an open source operating system that's a go-to for many due to its flexibility, security, and cost effectiveness. It's a fantastic alternative to mainstream operating systems, offering potential benefits like improved performance, customization, and a supportive community of users. But before you jump into the world of Linux, it's crucial to ensure your hardware is compatible. Think of it like this. Even the most powerful engine won't do much good if it doesn't fit in your car. Similarly, Linux may not function optimally if your system doesn't meet its requirements. Hardware compatibility is the key to a smooth Linux experience. Now, you must be wondering, how do I check if my computer can handle Linux? Let's dive into it. Before we jump into the Linux world, it's crucial to know your computer's system specifications. So, let's take a quick tour of how to find this vital information on different operating systems. If you're using a Windows machine, it's quite straightforward. Simply right-click on the My Computer icon and choose Properties. This brings up a window that lists your operating system, processor, and memory, or RAM. Additionally, you can view your storage details by clicking on This PC and selecting Manage. For Umic OS users, click on the Apple logo in the top left corner of your screen and select About This Mac. A window pops up, displaying information about your system including your MacOS version, processor, memory, and storage. And if you're already using a Linux-based system and want to check your specs, open the terminal and type in LSCPU for processor details, Freem for memory, and DFH for storage details. Now why is this information so important? Well, knowing your processor type helps determine which version of Linux will run smoothly on your machine, your memory, or RAM, impacts how well your system can handle multiple tasks at once. And of course, storage is important because you need enough room to install the Linux distribution and any applications you plan on using. It's also a good idea to jot down these specifications. Not only will this help you choose the right Linux distribution, but it will also be useful when seeking help in online forums or from tech support. Remember, the Linux community is vast and supportive, so don't hesitate to reach out if you need assistance. So to recap, Check your system specifications on your current operating system, take note of your processor, memory, and storage, and keep this information handy. With your system specifications in hand, you're one step closer to finding out if your computer is ready for Linux. Now that you know your computer's specs, it's time to understand what Linux needs to run smoothly. Let's first tackle the minimum system requirements for running Linux. Most Linux distributions including the popular ones such as Ubuntu, Fedora, and Mint, are designed to be lightweight and highly flexible. They can run on a wide range of hardware configurations. Generally, for these distributions, you would need at least a 1 GHz processor, 1 GB of RAM, and around 20 GB of hard disk space. Yes, you heard it right. Even your old desktop gathering dust in the corner might be able to handle Linux. But here's where it gets interesting. While Linux can run on minimalistic hardware, to truly unlock its potential and enjoy a smooth computing experience, you'd want to exceed these minimum requirements. For a more comfortable ride, consider having at least a 2 GHz dual-core processor, 2 GB of RAM, and 30 GB of hard drive space. Now let's get a bit more specific. For Ubuntu, one of the most user-friendly Linux distributions, the recommended requirements are a 2 GHz dual-core processor, 4 GB of RAM, and 25 GB of hard drive space. Fedora, on the other hand, recommends a 2 GHz or faster processor, 2 GB of RAM, and 20 GB of hard drive space. Lastly, Mint, which is known for its simplicity, suggests a 2 GHz processor, 1 GB of RAM, and 20 GB of hard drive space. These requirements might seem daunting, but remember it's all relative to what you want to achieve with your Linux system. If you're planning to use resource-intensive applications or multitask, you might want to aim for higher specs. If your system meets or exceeds these requirements, you're in a good position to run Linux. But one more thing to check. Hardware compatibility. Remember Linux is like a good friend. It doesn't ask for much but it pays off to know what it needs to perform at its best. Hardware compatibility is the final piece of the puzzle in our Linux compatibility check. Now what does this mean? Well it's not just about your computer's central components like the processor or memory, it's also about the peripherals you use daily. Think printers, scanners, and even webcams. Linux, unlike some other operating systems, 
doesn't always play well with every single piece of hardware out there, so it's essential to double-check that your peripherals are Linux-friendly. Thankfully, there are tools that make this somewhat daunting task a breeze. Search online for Linux compatibility databases. These are comprehensive lists, maintained by the Linux community, detailing hardware known to work with Linux. By cross-referencing your peripherals with these databases you can get a pretty solid idea of whether your hardware will cooperate with a Linux system. By now, you should have a good idea if your computer is Linux ready but there's only one way to be sure. The true test of Linux compatibility is trying it out for yourself. Let's face it, no amount of specs and compatibility checks can truly reflect the experience of running Linux on your machine. To get a real feel for it, why not try running Linux from a live CD or USB? This way you can explore the system without actually installing it, providing a risk-free insight into the world of Linux. And remember, Linux isn't just about compatibility, it's about the freedom to customize, the opportunity to learn, and the empowerment to control your digital space. With Linux, you're not just a user, you're a participant. It's a playground for tech enthusiasts, a haven for developers, and a reliable workhorse for professionals. So, is your computer ready for Linux? There's only one way to find out. Give it a try and embark on a new tech adventure today.